Mix It With Mike plugin of the week comes from Sonable. It's the Smart DS, the latest in the AI collection from Sonable. Uh, this one focuses on DSing. Uh, not only that, it also focuses on plosives. It will separate out uh, some of the different S's. You see Z's, SH's, CH's, and S's. Uh, the plosives will deal with P's, T's, and K's, and uh, other um, other elements that would you know create plosives. Uh, consonants that would create plosives in a microphone and uh, and it's pretty cool I have something that's an impossible uh, vocal I'll play it and you get a sense for how loud the s's are the plosives aren't too bad but they're still there and we'll dig into it and see if we can make this work now uh, everything starts by analyzing the voice if you first call it up it'll look like this it'll say analyze voice Otherwise, um, if you already have something and you want to reanalyze it, you hit the reanalyze button. It waits for it, and then we'll feed a little audio in. I'm a place far away. I can only feel the beat lay. Rhythm of the ocean sand. Birds echoing in the land. Sun kiss. I, I'm actually going to skip and redo this. Let's so start a little bit later. Lay. Rhythm of the ocean sand. Birds echoing in the land. I'm going to reanalyze it from here where there's more of uh, this stuff going on here. Rhythm of the ocean sand, birds echoing in the land, sun kiss, salty hair like my dark skin, sun tan, so colorful, so sweet. Okay, all right, so what this does is once it's done an analysis, you can see the spectrogram display, low frequencies to high frequencies. There are two different colors. There's a green color and a blue color. The green color um, in there will show you where it's suppressing. It'll show you spectrally where it's uh, uh, suppressing uh, in green for sibilants and in blue for plosives. Um, so once you've analyzed it, you could store different settings uh, for it. So you can go through there. Um, there are two ways that it will operate. We'll go through all of the settings here in full range, or it will operate in split band mode. Uh, here you have control over what that range is, also control over where the plosives are. Uh, generally, for a more natural sound, it works a little better in full range, but you can kind of experiment uh, for particular situations. Um, it shows the sibilant range here and the plosive range here. Um, and again, if you go to split mode, it, those will light up and you can, um, and you can listen to it to kind of focus in. So if I go back to split mode, you'll see how this goes in. You can listen in to focus it in exactly where you want with the vocal, all of that sort of stuff. So it gives you that extra control here. You can hear the differential. So this would just play back the plosives and sibilants. That way, if you hear any other things that are going on, in there that you don't want it to be getting rid of, then you can make adjustments accordingly. Um, in the top display here, you'll see the spectrogram, plus you'll see the spectrogram display of where it's uh, doing the suppression. Um, the spectral shaping will show up over here. So you'll see kind of an overall thing that'll be a better meter, something that you'll gauge in. So you'll see the suppression that's happening full band. You'll see it as kind of a bar, and then you'll see the individual spikes coming out, and that would be a uh, particular spectral shaping for the DSing. So just take a quick look at that. Rhythm of the ocean sand, birds echoing in the land, sun kiss, salty hair like my dark skin, sun tan, so colorful. Right, and so you could see this here. Down here, you also see it in waveform, right, uh, where the blue, uh, the light blue is the plosive, and uh, green is the sibilance. You can focus on just the sibilance by hitting the uh, little headphone icon here, or focus just on the plosives to catch that, so that works there. Um, now, when you work this, there are a couple of things in this. This is really super cool. You can have three basic approaches to the sibilance, a sharp, so in other words, this would give you keep some of the articulation, right? So it'll give you, uh, um, so even if you have the sibilants, it'll keep them articulated so that you don't lose the presence. Balanced will keep it a bit more natural. That's probably more along the lines of the way most DSers work. And soft will soften hard transients. So if you have some harshnesses in there, the soft might be a better approach to working with it. Um, it automatically comes up with balanced. And it does an analysis, so when you set it up, it'll automatically come back with a 50 setting for the amount of suppression. You can increase or decrease it from there. 
uh, you'll see the game reduction again. Uh, you'll actually see it overall, the overall game reduction here, and you could set a cap for what the max game reduction is. So I'll display that. Uh, same with the plosives. So you'll have the suppression and the shaping here. Now the shaping, the way that the shaping works is that when you uh, increase the shaping, it'll more aggressively push it towards a balanced sound, sharp sound, or soft sound. Uh, and then you can back it off or lessen it. If you lessen the shaping down to nothing, you'll just get a broadband deessing, which would be old school deesser, which would be just, you know, not frequency dependent. So you could do it old school, pull this down, even set this into a split mode, and then dial that in and let it just sort of work full band, or you could have it work spectrally. And so this is mixing in the spectral shaping. Same with the plosives here. Now, the speed, this is how aggressively it's going to grab onto it. So now you have a target shape that you're going for, how aggressively you want to push toward it, and then how aggressively it's attacking those notes. So you can make it attack fast, which will make it you know, um, more active in terms of reacting more quickly to it. You could have it go slow, which is a way of shortening uh, the, um, the sibilant. Sometimes a lot of sibilants stand out too much because they're long. So this would be a way of like slowing down, allowing the initial part and then suppressing to kind of come through. And a mid, which is a bit more of a balanced approach. So that gives you just those two tools alone give you a lot of shaping controls. Uh, so we have the spectral shaping over here. We have total game reduction displayed over here. Um, and then you could set a maximum, right, um, amount that it will go. So you can cap it so it doesn't overtake uh, anything. Uh, it will show output level over here. And you can actually have a wet dry on it as well. So there's a lot to work with. Um, in its most basic level, if we just start with, um, let me just see here if I can zoom in on this just to kind of get that. All right, leading in here. Let's go to this um, more sibilant section here and let's listen to it on its own, bypassed. Rhythm of the ocean sand, birds echoing in the land, sun kiss, salty hair like my dyed skin, sun tan, so colorful, so sweet, glistening rays like. Right. So, okay, so pretty, pretty harsh in there, right? So let's now uh, put the DS, it's just whether it's default settings. Rhythm of the ocean sand, birds echoing in the land, sun kiss, salty hair like my dyed skin, sun tan, so colorful. So you see the game reduction pulling down here. So if I cap this and I make it so it like only doesn't go any more than six. Rhythm of the ocean sand, birds echoing in the land, sun kiss, salty. You'll see that it'll flatten out certain areas like it'll just sort of hit a cap and sometimes that sounds a little bit less natural uh, to increase the amount of suppression again for sibilance we could push it here right but what i want to focus on here is just the different settings here so this is balanced let's focus on what the sharp sounds like Rhythm of the ocean sand, birds echoing in the land, sun kiss salty hair like my dyed skin sun tan right so that preserve some of the articulation, then they're soft. Rhythm of the ocean sand, birds echoing in the land, sun kiss, salty hair like my dyed skin, sun tan. Right, and then of course is the balanced. Rhythm of the ocean sand, birds echoing in the land, sun kiss, salty hair like my dyed skin, sun tan. Okay, so if we go to sharp, now we also have uh, the attack setting. So if I make it fast. Rhythm of the ocean sand, birds echoing in the land, sun kiss, salty hair like my dyed skin, sun tan, so color. Right, I could do it slow. Rhythm of the ocean sand, birds echoing in the land, sun kiss, salty hair like my dyed skin, sun tan, so colorful. Right, and I could pick which one that I think sounds most natural. So let's say I want to preserve it because if you go through the different settings with soft, I can do the same thing. Rhythm of the ocean sand, birds echoing in the land, sun kiss, salty hair like my dyed skin, sun tan, so colorful, so sweet, glistening rays like crisp waves, crashing beneath my sleeping lady, I wanna go. 
Rhythm of the ocean sand Birds echoing in the land Sun kiss Salty hair like my dyed skin Sun tan So colorful So sweet Glistening rays like crisp waves crisp- So I want to work with this Because I want to see if I can preserve some articulation While still shaping it back a little bit So two ways to do this One, it can increase the suppression Rhythm of the ocean sand, birds echoing in the land, sun kiss, salty hair like my dyed skin, sun tan, so colorful, so sweet, glistening rays like crisp waves, crashing beneath my sleeping lady. I want. Or if I want, I can also work so it's more lean, more towards spectral processing. Rhythm of the ocean sand, birds echoing in the land, sun kiss, salty hair like my dyed skin, sun tan, so colorful, so sweet, glistening rays like crisp waves, crashing beneath my sleeping lady. So you could see how much control you have over the ability to shape it, right? Um, and, and just that ability alone... It's incredible. I, I've sometimes found that um, you, just in playing around with this, you may get certain notes that are not, you know, are like overdone or anything here. Um, you can also automate different settings, you know, to kind of switch fast, slow, mid, because you could hear how quickly it switches in real time or adjust shaping settings if there's a particular one that I missed. But for the most part, it works incredibly effectively. And just that shaping control is everything that I've wanted from a de-esser. I'm a person who hates de-essers. I've hated every de-esser that I've ever worked with. I never feel satisfied. Um, and most of the time I end up and I go in manually to make adjustments or at least take the most egregious ones and get them out of the way by just gaining them or uh, or even using the pl- the um, uh, de-essing utility in Melodyne or something, if I'm in Melodyne, uh, where I can have more independent control over each one, but it's just belabored and takes a lot of time. This is so simple and it just gives you like an incredible amount of control. And just to remind you what this sounds like originally. Rhythm of the ocean sand, birds echoing in the land, sun kiss, salty hair like my dyed skin, sun tan, so colorful, so sweet, glistening rays like... I mean, that's that's pretty amazing, the amount of control. And you could, you know, you like one approach over the other. Again, that gets to be a taste thing. Super cool. I am uh, I am really digging this. This may be the first theesser that I actually uh, want to use in a session that I'm not forcing in a situation just to take care of something. Um, this is uh, uh, one of my favorite plugins in a long time. Really dig this. Uh, and that's why it is uh, plugin of the week from Sonable, the Smart DS, uh, a no brainer. Get it now. <laughs> 